Today's object is this. It's a very pretty but fairly ordinary clamshell that's been selected from a beach, polished, worked on, and then fitted with a metal clasp. Now it's, it's not a home for a sea creature or um, a collector of sand or a calcium carbonate skeleton that's waiting to be eroded down and then uh, turned into chalk or, or reformed as coral, which is the normal life cycle of a, of a shell. Now it's a piece of the natural world made artificial, made useful. It's a cultural object, a possession, and it's a tool. It fits easily into my hand and it can be used to carry smaller things that would easily fall out of my grasp, like nuts or um, shell beads or um, money or even fine powders. Now humans have used shells like this for hundreds of thousands of years and not just humans of our own species. Neanderthal archaeological sites have turned up little clamshell compacts containing ochre residues, which were presumably used for adornment. So just think that tens of thousands of years ago, my distant cousin held something very similar to this in her hand and pressed coloured paste into it and she could um, then paint herself. My Homo sapiens ancestor too may well have used something like this to hold the colours as she decorated her cave that she lived in, the walls of her home. And it's likely that these were a traded product even very early on because their value was recognised. And we know that because seashells have been found in cave sites very far inland, way, way away from the coast. My shell purse was made long ago through the unconscious collaboration of a mollusk and a human craftsman. But it comes from a market stall on the English south coast. I treasure it though for its simplicity and its translucent beauty.